So have y'all ever heard of the messaging app Kick? If you haven't, that's fine. Just to kind of give a brief description of it. It's just a messaging app that you can join groups in and just talk to random people, I guess. Anyways, though, I didn't know this about the app, but a lot of people on there, they're sending child pornography to one another, you know, in like these public groups. Okay, so an article here states, eight kids rescued across the U.S. after North Carolina cop infiltrates child porn chat group. Now, the article starts off here. Two years ago, a detective in North Carolina gained access to a chat group on the messenger app Kick, which is, you know, the app that I was bringing up, where strangers were exchanging child pornography according to court filings. The discovery and subsequent investigation reportedly saved eight children from sexually abusive situation. I didn't know that this was happening until a buddy of mine told me. I'm not going to mention names, but he told me that he downloaded the app to check it out and he joined in a group. And after he joined into a group, they were sending messages back and forth to one another. You know, he, he joined several groups. And one of the groups that he joined was sending child pornography to one another. Now, I don't know if he reported that group to, you know, kick themselves. I'm not entirely sure. He just told me whenever he figured out that they were sending, you know, child pornography, he said that you could clearly look at it and the pictures were clearly child pornography. He said he just left. He was like, I don't want no part in that, right? He, he told me, he was like, I didn't want no part in that. And I can't blame him because it's fucking disgusting. And he's like, I just left, man. I, I hope I don't get in trouble because as soon as I join, I left. I don't want no part of that. And, you know, I hope he doesn't get in trouble either for anything like that, which I don't think he will. So I decided to do a little bit of research after he told me that. And, you know, this is the first article that I stumbled across. It was really, it was really interesting article from what I read of it, but it kind of gives a rundown of the situation. Now, I'm not a parent, Okay, so I'm not going to sit here and try to lecture, you know, parents, you know, people with children how to raise their kids. But one thing that I really, I really will recommend if you have children, just just make sure you keep an eye on on what they're doing on the Internet. I'm not saying going and, you know, straight up watching their every move on the Internet or just like breathing down, <laughs> breathing down their neck. But just try to keep watch on what they're doing on the Internet. Just, you know, if I was a parent and I was to give any parently advice, I guess you could say, I would say this. Just keep an eye on on what your children is doing on the Internet because you never know who they're talking to. You never know what they're doing. Cases like this happen often and the people that do this are absolutely scummy, vile human beings. And they should be locked away for the rest of their lives because stuff like this is awful. And then whenever it brings, you know, trying to meet up with the child too, whenever it comes to that situation, that's even worse. I don't know what Kick is trying to do about any of this. I don't know if they've ever done anything about any of this stuff. Maybe they just ban the people that, you know, send and receive these messages. I wouldn't really say receive them. You know, but send them to one another. Hopefully they do something, though, because, I mean, this this is something that shouldn't be happening on any sort of platform because it's just an awful thing. Anyways, though, I love you guys. Stay beautiful. Don't go ugly on me either. I've seen somebody comment that they already went ugly on me. You get beautiful again, pal. You will get beautiful again soon, I promise you. And I'll see you all in the next one.